Hey everybody, it's me, the Ford Edge AC Repair Guy, RJ. You watched my video? It's got like a hundred and something thousand views on a quick, easy fix to fix your uh, Ford Edge's AC. Unfortunately, we are past that quick, easy fix. That was about five or six years ago, I think I made that video. Uh, we are on to the little more complicated issue of my AC doesn't work when I'm sitting still. It blows hot air and my car starts to overheat. But if I drive it a good 35 or above, it kind of works. What your problem is, right here. You open up your hood, you will look. There are two fans right here. One, two. If your car is parked and your AC turned on, these fans are supposed to run because they are cooling the car, but also the AC has its own cooling fins like on the like on a radiator if you don't know what a radiator looks like which is right here look through there okay there's an AC I can't really see anything and it's here you can't because I'm not taking this part but it's in here okay now this thing you're looking at and you're like holy crap how am I gonna fix this it's not that bad uh, if you have the towing the only problem you're gonna have is there's gonna be an extra bolt way at the bottom that we don't have we are a non-towing capable. This is an easy fix. Sometimes it can be just this right here, your control module. But you might as well buy the whole fan. If you could find and you can afford to buy the Ford Motor Company one, it is F-O-M-O-C-O, FOMOCO. And the module is 7T43-8C60. Five dash A B. That is Alpha Bravo. I do not have. Oh yes, I do. Here, turn it here. It's right there. Here is the on. whole fan number. If you want to buy the whole thing, and it is Fomoco, and it is seven T is in Tango four three hyphen eight is in C is in Charlie six zero seven hyphen A G Alpha Golf. Okay. There you go. I'm trying to get it on there for you, but it's hard. The camera's back. We did not buy that one. We bought the TYC. It was $113 on Amazon. It has really high reviews, but it has some really bad reviews. So we're just going to wing it. The Ford one would have been hundreds, and I can't even find it anywhere. I don't know if it's because of the cold um, and stuff not existing or what. But here's what we bought. Got it. It is the TYC 622040. Don't worry about it right here. I'm going to put a link. This was made in December of 2021. I am going to put a link to this it's one. Too far out. You're too so, what we're going to show you here is when you buy the new fan, you get a new module. You got to make sure you get the right one with towing or without because of the plug. Okay. See the plug right here? Okay. Here's what you're going to have to remove a bolt here. And a bolt here. These are eight millimeter bolts. If you only got a socket wrench, you'll make it, but you're gonna rack your hands up. Okay? See this side here? If you have with the towing, this bolt attaches to a mount on the bottom for the oil dipstick tube or the transmission dipstick tube, one or the other. Mine is not, so There's these are one empty. Right there. Oh, there it is right there actually. That's it. So I may have this. I don't think I do though. I'm gonna go check real quick, okay? So, y'all watch me crawl under here, and then we'll pause it so you don't have to watch. Double checking the spacing. It's on this side, right there. It would be here. Yeah. Are so you may have it. I'm pretty sure I don't have that attached. Yeah, it's, uh, it's right here. It's not connected. Okay? Camera. It'd be right here, guys. I don't know if you can even see that. Um, it would be here if you have it, and it'd be attached to a dipstick tube. Uh, I don't. So what I'm going to show you, see this? I can take this and see the fan. See the whole thing moves, okay? All right, so there we go. All right, everybody, so what we got is a air... Okay? 
you can get a battery operated one, a little cordless. Or if not, you're gonna sit in here and you're gonna go boom, 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 boom. So what we're gonna do here is go right here. And the first bolt is, you know what, we're gonna remove all the stuff first. I'm gonna show you all the stuff, guys. I was gonna start taking it apart, but you gotta do this anyway. So see these hoses? They got two clamps here and here. Third clamp right here, okay? And you're gonna wanna tie these up out of your way. See this hose? You're gonna unhook this. You're gonna fold it up like this out of your way as much as you can. You do not want to unhook it. See, I almost got it opened. You don't want to do that. That's your coolant, and there could be coolant in there, and you're going to drop it away. You want, you can do it. You can flip it up, and you can clamp it, get it out of your way. First thing first, once you get all these disconnected, um, you can take this airbox housing off if you want. It might make it a little easier. I think I'm going to because you see this here. This is in the way, if not. So we're going to do it. So what you got is a clip here. Here. Oh, I haven't that filter. Oh, yeah. I need to get a screwdriver. You get a fill, uh, flathead screwdriver. You're going to need a needle nose, possibly. Okay, so here you go. You're going to take this here. You got to be careful. This is your map sensor right here for your airflow. You don't want to mess it up. You might want to even just unscrew it and take it off. Okay. Okay, this here turns and releases. You can take this here. Just be careful with your map sensor right in here. It's just that. I have a new filter we're gonna change out because look at that. Okay? We're gonna do that video as a separate video though and look inside there. I'm gonna get a shot back out here actually. Take care of that business. So this guy here, see it's connected. So I'm going to take this 8 millimeter right here, and we're going to pull this all the way out. Is there a clip over there that it's... No, there's another bolt somewhere that we're not seeing, y'all. Pull this over here out of the way. It's like on that side. Oh, oh there it goes. It's got just clip-ins. They're plastic rubber clip-ins is what it's going to be. Okay? So you want to take this out, we're going to get it back in. These are what it's holding. Okay? Clean that out. Or just lay it. I will kind of, I kind of do, but if I leave it like this, it'll keep it out of the way. But it may be better to take it off. It's, it's All right. stuck between the things. We need. Oh no, it comes off. Yeah, it comes off. Okay. Okay. Pause it while I flip it off. This screwdriver here. See that? And you flip it, and you get the red to clip out. And there you go. So you flip this up with the screwdriver and pull that out. Okay, so you get this out of here and we get this whole thing. There's your map sensor for your airflow for uh, your fuel mixture here. You know, a couple of your miles per gallon. Next thing right here. See this guy? The problem with this guy is he has the clip and it's on this side. See it? Can you tell what I'm doing? Yeah. Right here? Kind of. And you pull it off like that, okay? See that? And this, you see the two connectors and everything? And that is why I was showing this one. That looks, and they're gonna meet. Hold on, slip, I don't know slip. what I'm looking at. This guy here, and this guy here. Okay. okay. If you have the towing package one, it's a different connector. I don't know what it looks like. I just know it's supposedly a different connector. Okay. So there we go. Now we got this, and like I said, there's a few more. See, plastic. This is what the needle nose are for. It's really another one of those repairs that it's not as easy as that other AC repair I gave you, but it's nowhere near 
the twelve hundred or more dollars if you take this to your Ford dealer to get repaired. It will easily be twelve hundred dollars. I'm telling you. So if, even if this thing at $110 or $120 breaks in a year or two, you can do it again, and you can do it for 10 years before it would cost you the cost of having the dealer do it. See this clip here? I hate these clips. I can't see anything. Your hand on your big old head is right in the way. Just so y'all know that watch my channel, you know what the situation is. No. Somebody came to visit. Okay, flip it off. See that? It's a really, I hate those clips. Okay, get that out of the way. I think I'm gonna take this bottom one here to give it even a little more. You think that's enough out of the way? I think we're good. Okay, so the worst part about this job, it's like, oh, this is easy. You have to be very careful. This is touching your radiator fence. You do not want to. Good. Can you see the bolt? Yeah. You can get in here easily with an impact once you do a regular socket wrench, okay? But I don't feel like messing with that, so I'm using this and the big touch. Okay. For, for time for us and time for y'all. Get this guy on. This is the side that you'll fight with with the, uh, the longer extension it out. Where's it at? Ten fingers. Get some extensions. I got this nice craftsman set that I'll put a link to below that I love now that I got a super deal on Lowe's for it. Where's the that. other socket at? It is. Come around over to this side. It is right under this hose. See this hose? It's right there. Yep, nope, you can't see here. Go back. Right there, guys. Right under the hose. It's a very tight, tight fit. I don't know how I'm gonna get this bad boy in there. Watch out. Can you pull that out? There we go. I got it. This is where you're going to save yourself by having a battery or air-powered socket wrench. That's a tight fit. If you don't, I'm going to show you the next coolest tool you can use. Pause it real quick. For y'all that have watched this channel before, I've had this tool and a lot of people ask. I usually put a link to them in the bottom. They do not make this brand anymore, but they have a Bosch and someone else. Um, this is a rotating socket wrench. So when you're in that tight fit, watch. So you get in here, can't move, you hold it like this, and you go like this while you're on the spot, and you can get it, but the problem is you still gotta get it like this. Now the socket is amazing for this, and it works okay this, but if you're having to really force, what will happen is you're doing this, you'll turn and it messes with you, so it's not really good at breaking stuff free, but it does work and it, I do use it all the time. But when you once you get it, you can just get right here, and then I would just go like this. The problem is, it still takes a while, because look, see this? Can you watch that? Watch. I'm just not a half turn. A lot longer, but you can move. You may not be able to do that with the other thing. All right, that is all the disconnections for this system. If you want, and it will be easier, take this off, you can, but you're gonna have a little coolant link. It's just gonna happen, okay? So here's you go. There's three clamps I didn't show you on the thing. I'm going to show you here. Come here. Two. Not three. See them? See the side? It's kind of in the shadows. I can't see them. See them Yes. Okay. There's just a little lip in there and they catch on. So you got to grab it like that. Okay. Careful. Get the stuff folded out of the way like I said, but do you see there's not much to go. You are touching your fins, you do not want to beat them up. You will make it where it doesn't get airflow and mess your stuff up, okay? See this, see this? That's in your way. 
all this dust in your way. You gotta get this out. I'm gonna remove this bracket. See this bracket? It's in the way, I don't wanna deal with it. It's in the eight millimeter like we've been using. That is the bracket that holds on your air box. So if you want, you can just remove that as the first one. Okay. Much of these pretty long bolts, so you're gonna wrestle for a while. And they're those body pin type bolts that are hard to turn. Mm -hmm. If you've used body bolts, they're difficult to get out, they, they fight. You can sit that in the air filter housing, okay? Don't hold that. Can you see it in the camera? Is that better? All right, now we got a little more room here. You see, so what we're gonna have to do is slowly. Pull this here, gentle, very slow. Take this, and you're gonna have to rotate it out of here. Come around here and show them there's stuff in the way. You got part of your engine here, if you can see that, my finger down in there. No, I can't. So you gotta watch these hoses, and you're gonna have to slowly, see that? Not that bad. I mean, really, I did make it look easy. And if you've watched my channel, normally I make everything look hard. Do you watch channel like, dang, this dude makes everything look ridiculously hard. If I made it look this easy, think how easy you can do it. All right, that's where we're at. Hundred nineteen dollars. I removed everything. So look, some of y'all are gonna want to leave this crap on. Oh, I don't want to rehook that up and mess it. Get that crap out. Now here's another where you're gonna do it. Now double check. Look. Make sure you didn't get your fins. Um, if you want while you're in here, run some air hose through here to clean it out. I'm actually gonna do that real quick. We're gonna pause this and I'm gonna get the air hose out. We're gonna blow this out. Mm -hmm. Okay, right now I got a little pin hose. That's their pneumatic, so that's what? Harbor Freight. And I'm just gonna gently See, there's a little bit of dust. It's really not bad because your car does it already. Every once in a while, you should run your hose from the front through the grill and clean this just because. Yeah, see, look, I just got a whole bunch of dust bunnies. Oh, there you go. See it? Can you see it now? Mm -hmm. See that, guys? So that's dirt that is restricting your airflow. It's not that big a deal. You're going to get, is it? Wait, right here? Yeah, so. So that side right there was holding air. You know why that is? The fan sits here. That's where it sits. The other fan up here is there. So you know what? We probably have a lot, right? Yep, there we go. See it? No. So when it's not on the fan, let's pause it. See where the fan sit? This one sits lower, so the half side of the radiator up there doesn't get flow, and the bottom half of this one. That's where it sucks the air So this side up here is probably gonna be dirtier for you. The other side spotless, and then this side down here is a little dirty. You can actually kind of see it. Can you see it in the camera? Kind of, yeah. Right here, there's like a circle that's clean. Can you see that? Kind and of. right here, there's an area. You can see it from my angle. It's wider fins. Yeah, and it's kind of. Not as darker because the fan constantly flowing there is helping you do that. Be very careful doing this, guys. Don't bend your fins or you get less airflow, and that didn't help you at all. So I'm going to do that as enough, and then I'm going to do this a few times. Okay. All right, everybody, we're back. Um, I just thought about it. I did not show you that the fans weren't working before, and sometimes y'all will kind of like, you didn't even show it not working. How do we know it fixed it? Look, I'm sorry. I did not want to start the car up and get this thing hot again and then wait another two hours of video. Sometimes these videos, because of that, take me forever. And I know it's just YouTube and people just like to complain. But like, if you're watching my video on how to do this, it means you don't know how to work on a car normally. Or you don't need my video like, what are you talking about? I don't have to watch a video to fix this. It's a car. All cars are the same. And I'll say, no, they're not. Unless you get into like PCM, electrical issues, stuff like that. And even then, you know what? Replace that thing, go to the dealer, have them flash it, boom, you're done. Uh, 
I don't always use the exact word for stuff because you know what? It says it on my thing, the redneck. I'm a shade tree mechanic in my driveway, okay? I don't do mechanics for a living and I still know more than y'all because you say you work at a dealer and you have to watch my video on how to do this. Very careful going back in. So here's the problem, guys, I wanna show you. See this plate? Mm -hmm. When it goes in, right here on the front end of your engine, this is your header. I believe it's your header, I can't see yet. Your header coming out there. So where your header, no, it's a heat shield over your header, okay? Where it comes out, you gotta be careful. That, can you see it kind of from here? Right there, see it's rubbing and I'm hitting. So you want to fairly maneuver it around it. And then your plastic up here too, see these teeth? No, there's too much going I know, on. there's a lot guys. You just gotta very careful rotate and see what I'm doing? I'm I'm rubbing the fins. I'm gonna be, see, come here, show from here. This is what I'm saying, be careful. I'm trying to keep it off the radiator. I see like that? More over like here. I don't, no, 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 right here. You put it in and then you find the rotate spot. You sit and you rotate. Out is always gonna be easier because you're pulling out. You're not trying to put it back in through the stuff. See, all this stuff's in my way. And that's what you gotta be careful of. You gotta be careful on the bottom. You gotta be careful on the right. And there's a spot here, there's a spot there, there's a spot everywhere. And I hit the fins, yep. See, this why I'm trying to tell you be careful. It's not a big deal. See the fins right there? I just dented them with that plastic, okay? Very careful. A little damage is not gonna kill us, but I got to be careful that I don't do more. This is your hardest part of the whole job. You're hitting the mount you know over doing? here. No, I got a plastic piece right in the bottom down here. It's catching on the thing when I'm trying to rotate it. No, baby. Love you. I thought you said something else. Not need help. help. I thought you said our favorite two-letter word. We shouldn't be saying. Help. Yeah, I'm caught on those. No, it just... Yeah, this is your hard part. This is why... It's awkward. It, and, and you can't get it in unless you get it right there. you got to fit. I'm getting there. It may not look like it, but I'm slowly... You're hitting them. What you're hitting over here... Careful with that. Is these hoses? There's, there's, I know. Is that clamp? Not the hose, the just clamp. the clamp. Just this, this barrier. Yeah. No. Can you All you want stuff. to take that out? No, no, no. I'm doing. Look, look how much I. You guys may not yeah. be able to tell. I'm up, and it's like. Uh, oh, you just, oh broke. you just broke it. That's clamp. What I'm I broke stuff. You broke the clamp. It's fine. It's a plastic clamp. Oh no, it didn't. Oh, no, it it just clips separated. into itself. Yeah. It looked like he broke it. Yeah. This is this is a mess, guys. And it's a very tight rotating through. If that thing was not right there. It's just all the things. And there's plastic and there's fins that you gotta be careful of. And you gotta get this down in here under this. This part right here, this manifold thing, if you took it off, you could get in, but mate, it's still probably resting. It wouldn't even, if you didn't have the plastic, the radiator fin spark, you'd be fine. It's just, I don't like it. Don't want Almost there. So close. Once I get past that, and get past this down in, we're good. It's just, it's plastic. Yeah, you don't want to break it. like that's the only spot I hit the radiator it is these plastic fins that are causing the problem. I'm in? Oh, I think so. I'm in, I'm in, I'm in. Just, I'm going to be very careful. Oh, careful watching these wires. You're on top of those wires right there. What wires? This, right there? Yeah. I don't know what that's for, but I don't know if you want to hit it. Yeah. Get it down. Okay, when you get here, you're gonna catch on that metal back on the back of the fan. You're gonna catch right here, and you're gonna catch here. Look, come over here. Can you see it? Uh, maybe. 
this plastic will want to go bury itself. You're going to have to have somebody come here, pull this out, and then do this. Now you're good. He's trying okay. to get it over there. We're there. Can we push it again? Nope, give me a second. I gotta double check we're not gonna break something. Everywhere we're rubbing. Okay? Careful. Right here. Oops. Hold on. And that's just for this though. Oh yeah. What? Don't want you to drop the hood. Oh, you're wiggling mm -hmm. the this hood arm. Yes. This is the hardest part. It's it. Like we just did it. Anchor past. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you got past the this hose too. Oh, there you go. Nope, not yet. One more, one more hurdle, right? Gentle. You have to breathe. You cannot get angry. And you cannot angry. punch it. It is plastic. This is definitely cheaper plastic than the factory one. Yes, this is a cheaper system, period, yes. And then we can see this metal support bracket it is also holding right here. So you gotta get So we need to get it off of that. You go lower. And we gotta... See, it's pushing on that plate. Actually, I unplugged it. Oh, I see it. See it? We're catching on the hose in the very bottom there. So we get you. There, there we go. you go. Okay, everybody. We are in. We catch. Yeah, you're all lined up right here for demo. There we go. Nope. Am I on? Nope. You want to make sure that's on. Okay. We're in. Right here's on it. We're in. And that is the. That's it, guys. I mean, it's, it's really the Not whole that. thing. Um, this here, oh, there, see it? There's a clamp here. That's no, why you no. gotta see it. Do you see it? No. Come, okay. I just <laughs> There's a clamp right here. You can't see it. See it right here? Yeah. You need to slip into that. So watch out. I need to get in there. I'll show you in a second what I mean by slip in and where it was, okay? Okay, where's the old one? Come here. This guy and this guy have a thing that comes out that you need to get into. I'm caught. I almost died. Don't hook me. Okay. Ow! Sorry. You just flipped it on my leg. Okay. So that's it. And if you can see it, it's here. It's part of the back of the radiator mount. And you got to get it just right. Get this hose out of your way. And before you lock in that guy, you got to... Did I get it? Nope. See it now? Can you see it? See that clip there with my thumb? Uh, this is supposed to be behind it. Behind? Okay. okay, let's go. Can you guys see it? Is it in? Um, I can't see it. No, this clip is nowhere near in. Yeah. No, that you're held up by this. Oh, look, uh, oh, right stop. here. There you go. In? Yeah, you were Did held. It... This what? was holding on that. It has to be. Hold on. You can't push it over. Oh, okay. There we go. In? Oh. No. Is that in? There it goes. That is in? Mm -hmm. These guys are not. That one's on. It's very hard to see. You're almost gonna You're almost gonna have to reach. And put the bolt in. No, and make sure you're in the clip. You want me to use my tiny hand? I can't even see, guys. Do you want a light? This is a... No, you like, you can't get his... You can't see what he's doing. It's too Let small. Let me see. Come here, guys. Come here. I'll show you. All right. So we are this way. So this guy's here under this. So I'm going to see if I can see it from the bottom. All right. It's going to be this side. I got sweat my eyes. Hit the toes out from my fatness. Alright. We are in. So you can see it from under here. Give it to me. Other hand. Other hand. Other. Sorry for flipping you around, guys, but. 
So, see the hose? See that gray thing? Give me the screwdriver, would you? The long one? The one or this one? This one might work. I can't reach it. Okay, so, see that hose right there? See that? Give me the, give me the really long one. Okay, guys, be very careful. Right there, see that clip? See how you can see it? Because it's behind that part like it's supposed to be. If not, you wouldn't be able to see it, okay? So that hose. So, rustle it, rustle it, double check. As you can see, mine are here, mine's there. I'm coming out, okay? Yeah. You know, the right side of your hand is holding. Thing. All right, everybody. So here we go. Where's the bolt bar? Are these them? And this is that one? Yes, the shorter ones. Okay. The good thing is this one's really easy. Right here. Kind of see what you're doing. And lean in there put that in there right like that okay boom boom this is the one you got to worry about you could drop it I do my hand it's just right here and you're gonna have to move it around and this is where this is gonna come in handy I'm not gonna use the tool because that is powerful a little powerful and I can't control the power and these are plastic so this is where this is going to come in is that tightening that's tightening okay come here come over on this side right behind me you can see it see where it is right here see it right there so you take this and I'm just going to go like this look see Turn it to. It's not oh no, no, it's not. No, it's okay. not. Okay, you got it. Okay, yeah, I'm sorry. Okay, everybody. So when you have the tools that will make your job easier ahead of time, that's gonna be the best thing. And then look, see, after I get it in, I can do this. See? You can go side to side. Or turn the handle. I can't really see. I won't focus either. You can pause it for a second. Oh, just to show you, look. See? This is what you can see. See the rotating? Can you see the 8 millimeter and stuff moving? No. Right by my thumb. Not here. really, no. Can't. Okay, well, it's moving. See the of it. And it helps when bolts are loose, because when they're real loose, you can't ratchet. See that? I'm just loosening it both ways. This really comes in handy when they are bolts that are going into like plastic and they're just hanging there so that you can get leverage. And then once you do, you can switch to this guy. Okay, I'll put a link for this below too. They're kind of expensive, but I'm gonna let you know if you've watched my channel, eight, how many times? A million times I've used just this? Because it just comes in handy in tight places where, me, black stuff, it's okay. That's what happens when you mechanicanize. I should've worn my gloves and so now my hands are filthy. I'm gonna have to use some Gojo and the Real Man scrubs. Check out my uh, YouTube farm. They are available for purchase, Real Man Clean. Go check it out. Great video. For y'all on the go, Road Warrior types, we got the uh, new steel wool ones as well. All right, so there we go. Double check. What you want to do is that you're tightened. Double check that you're caught still right here. Come show them. They can see it on this side. You see my finger? Yep. Make sure that part's on the outside of this plastic, okay? Double check. And then go under there and check it. And then you got a plastic here and a plastic here. This plastic tooth is the one that's gonna tear up your radiator. I took two little chunks in the radiator. It's gonna be fine, it's, it sucks, but you know what? You take this four dealer, they may even do worse, who knows? They won't tell you because it's covered up. So next spot is this guy's here, okay? See this connector? Remember, this is on the back side. Take this here. See these two lines? They go inside that hole. So, see that, the holes? See the holes? You want to take that, there's like a line in it, and it does not want to 
Is it backwards on this? Did it flip it over? Oh, it's flipped over. On the new harness, it flips. It's no longer going to be on the back side. That's kind of weird. It's the same harness. It's the you new. You had to flip it though. Yeah. The this... new one. This one yes. comes backwards so that you can now get it from the front. Yeah. They probably did it just because they realized it was easier. I don't know if that's true, but it's just easier to get the connection, okay? So now double check that guy's on there. Double check because I unclipped that one. These things on yours, when yours is bad, I forgot to tell you before. Double check these connectors. Unplug them and replug them, unplug them and replug them. It is possible for these harnesses to get unplugged, and there's one right here as well, from the fans and the controller, and your stuff not work. That's not our problem though. Our problem was entirely this. So what I'm gonna do before I put everything back, this guy, all these plastic clips in, hopefully they can still hold because they were abused. Used and abused, I did not unhook that, I did just this one, right? With this hose clamp. Um, make sure you're this way, because if not you won't get it off later. Uh-oh. Make sure the clamp folds this way if you do it the wrong way. Gonna have trouble unconnecting this later. Where'd this go? Can you see? Just here somewhere? Anywhere? There you go. Clipped. Clipped. This is your map sensor. That goes to the air. Mm -hmm. This so is your can... make sure you do do not leave that back under there. It will bind and your coolant will not flow and you will overheat your engine. Double check that you did not loosen your upper radiator hose. Wrong part. Alright, see these two? They go right here. Okay. Rustle that out. Where is the hose? Did this just go free into the thing? This was the cold air intake and there's nothing so. attached to it. Alright, well this is your cold air intake for your engine, so it just sucks in dirty crap. And then the cold air intake here, so it had like a double cold air. It had one up here too through into the this is not bad in the front of the hood, like a Ram Air, but I don't know why that second one there is like for pressurization or something. Pressure, pressure, is there pressurization? Couldn't say it. Okay. Is that the right spot? That is in. Okay. Take this guy, make sure he is over that. Take your old connector, put it back in. Find your bolt. You're dumb like me, you just dropped it on the ground. Oh no, wait okay, a minute. No, you put it over there. Where'd I put it? In my pocket. <laughs> I put it in my pocket. I thought I lost it. Okay, so that goes there. This guy's gonna go here. I think it was under it actually, wasn't it? Yes, it was. Uh, yes, it was. Like that. This guy goes down here. See that? No one usually do it. Okay. I'm gonna use the pen needle uh, air hose to clean that air button out. Oh, you wanna make sure those clips go where they need to be. Those clips. Sure. Yeah, they're just, yeah, they're just holding. Yeah, where it was screwing down wasn't the right Look spot. at me, show my face, show my face. Can you see that coming off? I don't know. The drip, show them. Look at my drip, look. Can you see it now? Look, it's like 95 degrees out here. That's why we need this AC fixed. I'm hoping this helps you. It's a pretty easy fix. It's a hundred something dollars, which is normally not that bad. Um, I understand that O'Biden crushed you. We just can't do nothing about it. There's not enough of us to fix things for the amount of elderly that love to see our country collapse. I feel you. I feel you. So hopefully this helps you because there's no way you can afford to pay $1,200 at a dealer or mechanic right now with the, uh, what do they call it? Oh, Biden's false Putin inflation price hike. Is that what it's called? Okay. Oh, Biden. Um, so changing your filter is going to help you here too, guys. Uh, get you some better... MPGs when you pay seven dollars a gallon for gas. You're like, what's seven dollars? We're talking. It's five something here. Um, it will be seven in the month. We're in that state of misery. 
Out here, you know, if you shake it more than three times, you know the saying, right? Okay, I'm playing with it. Okay, that's in. That's in. Got the flow sensor. Uh, we're we're gonna pause it. Actually, we're just gonna start up. You don't even need the air filter on for the engine right now. It's gonna run. Uh, I have to put that map sensor on though. We're gonna we're gonna do a separate video. And I you're like, why can't you just do the air filter for this video? Guys, I need every dime I can get. Oh, Biden is crushing us hard. Hold on. Come over here. Okay. Not yet. All right, everybody, I plug the sensor in. It might act a little funny because I don't have it all hooked back up. There's going to be a separate video for that in a second. I should put it back to. I'm going to put it back together for you. I'm going to do a separate video on the uh, thing. Um, leave it on. It's so easy. I'm being stupid. But I need the separate video. I'm just sorry. I put need the, that. Just put the old one in and then we'll. Or the old one. The air is, that filter? The grass? is that the one in the grass? I don't know. Is this the old filter? It's not the new one. We're just putting the old one in, guys. We're going to do this video in a few minutes. We're going to do a video on replacing this because we've already watched this. So we need to replace it, okay? I need all, every extra bit of income I can get. It's $3 million to get gas, and I can't buy any work truck. And houses went from 100000 to 400000 Never gonna be able to sell. Okay. Here we go. Put it back. That give you the full video of what it should be doing. Uh, we're gonna pause this real quick. I'm gonna go grab some. We're reconnected. Did you tighten the thing? What thing? The air filter thing. With the screwdriver. The thing back here. No, because I'm taking that off in a second. Oh, okay. You ready? We on? Mm-hmm. Okay. So I got my hand being I'm gonna show you in a minute. So we're gonna turn this bad boy on, Kylie. Start this guy up. And they're spinning, right? Turn the AC on. There they go. You see them? I can't tell. Okay, well I would stick my finger in there and show you, but I can't. Turn the AC off. Watch right here. Turn it off. Okay, to shut the car off. Okay, they stopped. They hold for it. You can hear them now. See them? Hear the fans going? Yeah. That's the fans. Okay, they're slowing down. Soon. Okay, I'll show you. Watch them. Get it where the camera can see the blades, okay? Yeah, I can, can, can you see them good mm -hmm. right now? Mm-hmm. Yeah? Yes. Okay, turn it on, Kylie, and turn on the AC. Turn it car on, AC on. And there they go. Uh, some people complain and said these were too loud. Okay. Some people complain these too loud. I can't hear that at all. I couldn't even tell they were running hard. They even put the car off. Could you? Mm -hmm. All right, so here's what we're going to go. We got, a, we got cooling fans running. We're going to come around here. And these, it's already cold air, okay? So let's see. These were running like 90, okay? So it says 104, it's gonna take a second. Uh, roll up your window, okay? All of them, except for this one. Okay, you can close the door and hold the camera. No, no, I got it. Oh. No, it's fine. You wanna close the door with the window down. It's, the rest of the car will be getting cooler, okay? You might need to adjust Here it goes. Yeah, I can't hold it, it's, the door's hot. Here, fine. Just, it's gonna take a second. It's cold air, it's just not cold, cold yet. It's just started. Just started. It work, it Pause it and we'll get it going. Still, as you see, it says cold and hot right there. That's the car's temp. It if we did this, hot. it would go red line in like two minutes, wasn't it? Two or three minutes? Mm -hmm. And it's like 95, 97 degrees today. So it's working to keep the car cool already. Uh, we're gonna spin around the block to get the AC going a little better, but it's cool. I mean, I feel good. We're gonna go around the block to get it kicked up so it really lowers the temp for a minute. We'll be right back, okay? Okay, we just took it around the block here. We're just now getting up to like 25 for the first time. And it's 56 pumping out of the vent right now, and it's 97 outside, 55. The longer you drive, 
the more cool it will get, and you should get a little better. Uh, RAC, yeah, see, 54, keep going straight past here. You gotta stop in the car. We're gonna pause and come back in a second, okay? All right, everybody, so as you can see, we got moving, got the flow going with the fans, and it's like 45, 47, and like I said, it's 97 degrees outside, so it's a 50 degree drop. The problem is holding it right where the cold air is. For a second there, I hit it in the spot and it was 45, see? Depending where you're hitting. Okay? So it's working pretty good. It'd be nice if it could get like slightly, there we go, 43, there we go, 41. That's the temps you want. 41, 40, 39, ooh, that'd be nice. 38, we've only went a half mile to a mile and we couldn't get up to speed because people kept stopping, so 37. So there's your AC fix. 36, look at that. It feels good. It feels good. Uh, we're gonna stop this and we're gonna finish the video up when I get to the house, okay? Okay, so okay. you got it? Okay. Hold on. We took it outside of the car, so it's gonna take a second to get back down there, but we got 35 you guys saw while moving. Uh, show them the cool hot. No heat. Uh -oh, the temperature gauge. Where's it at, in the middle? Yeah. Okay, right in the middle where it should be. Um, if you've had this problem, I did forgot to even say, this isn't just an AC problem, this is a car overheating and braking problem. So your car is overheating, but most people aren't gonna notice that. They're gonna notice that the AC's not working, but it could be in the winter and maybe overheating. The cooling fans aren't turning on, that's how you know. And how you test them while you're sitting still is you turn on your AC. If your AC is running, those fans have to run. And when you turn your car off, for a minute you'll hear, mm, and if you don't hear that, it's probably not running, okay? So that's it. It's really not that bad a fix. Would you guys agree? For the cost, hundred something dollars for this part, doing it yourself, there's only a few bolts. The worst part is putting it back in. You see why I'm at now and you guys see? You gotta be so careful. And I tink, dinged up my radiator just a little. Not a big deal. Some people's radiators are toast from like on cars like the Dodge where the grill's more open or and stuff hit hits rocks. it. Well, yeah, stuff hits it. Um, I hope this helps y'all. Is there anything else you guys think I need to cover and tell them? <laughs> you need an eight millimeter socket. You need a socket wrench, preferably a rotating or a air powered socket wrench or a battery powered socket wrench. Um, this will help you know if it's working afterwards, you don't need it. That stuff's ice cold. It's just nice to see the exact number. You feel it? Guys, Look, show Kylie's hair. No, sit back where you are. Sit back where you are. <laughs> sit back there, see your hair? See it blowing, y'all? <laughs> just blowing. Guess it could do that without the cold, but that's cold and air And this blowing. vent right here is also broken, so it's not directly. Yes. Oh, it is? It's blowing that hard still with it broken. Yes. So there we go. Just like last time where I showed you the five minute fix for your AC, this one's, what do you think, less than an hour? And I was- About an hour. Pausing, videoing, having to explain things. If you're doing this self, what do you think? Someone could knock this out in a half an hour? Easy half hour job, done. Okay, hopefully you don't have the one on the bottom that I showed you that is connected that to the dipstick, because that would, I don't know. I don't have it, I'm lucky. You'd have to take the bunker off. I don't know, you might be able to get in there, but you'd need a lot of extensions on your socket, and it'd be a pain in the butt. And you'd probably have to lift the car up. You may be able to do it without, but you might have to. And you're getting crap in your eyes, what a mess. You have that, I'm sorry. That's with trailer tow package, and it changes the harness plug a little with the trailer tow package. I think maybe it has a stronger fan. The weird thing is the amp on it is lower. It's a 40 amp instead of a 60. Oh, I guess it makes sense. It bl blows later or earlier so that in case you're towing, it doesn't overheat your car. Uh, we don't have the tower package, but we do have a trailer hitch in. We wired it in for a four plug wiring trailer, but we don't tow anything with this. That's it, I'm rambling on. Please like, subscribe. Every little bit helps during these times. Please look in the description below for my links. That is my Amazon affiliate. Anything you buy there helps me. I, I'm not getting rich off it. It's very That's minuscule. Sense. But you know, it It can't even fill up my gas tank. I'm letting you know. It will not fill up the gas tank in my truck. Well, at least now. It may have before oh, Biden. Before all Biden, it may have. Um, but it helps. I could buy a few Mountain Dews mm -hmm. at work. Poor tank gas. I cannot pay for this part, part with even 
a month at Amazon. It take a while, okay? But I get like 10 cents here, 30 cents there. Help me, help you, help me. You know it works, I did it. I can't tell you lifespan, how long this thing's gonna work. It may break in six months, it may break in a year, but it was a hundred and something dollars. A lot of them are more. I looked at the one that was 200, it had bad reviews too, actually worse reviews than this one. I'm like, you know what, I'm going with the cheap one. We're gonna wing it. Hopefully we can get like two years out of it and be good. Is that it? Yeah, so as always, I'm RJ. Seize the day each and every day. Thanks for watching. Check out my other Ford Edge repair videos. If you happen to have a second gen Dodge, I got them. I got Suburban Tahoe Avalanche videos, all kinds of stuff. Check out my Baja Blast excursion this week. It's amazing. You'll love it. All right?